that uh, phones are a huge part of what you do. So I'm wondering if you can tell me what's uh, new and exciting in that in that category right now. Well, Vicky, you know, right now it's incredible how many people in Canada text. Text messaging is a true phenomenon. We're seeing everyone from the youth to young adults to everyone just texting or updating their social media websites. So LG has come out with this new phone, the LG Versa, and it's a touch uh, screen phone and it's fantastic. But what's even better is the fact that it comes with the option to purchase an accessory and simply by attaching it, it now not only is it a functional carrying case with a dual screen on the outside, but now you actually have a full-blown keyboard allowing you to do text more conveniently. So this is really feeding off of the trends that are going on here in Canada. Very cool. So that gives you a great ability to uh, you know, keep in touch with your family or send uh, tweets, all that kind of thing. Yeah, in fact, some studies that have been done recently over the summer have indicated that a lot of Canadian families will say that relationships with their children have improved when they text with them. Oh, isn't that interesting? Yeah, Be so speak in their language, yeah. speak in their medium. Yeah, in interesting. Now, um, it might be very useful for the kids, but I'm thinking that one of the things my husband, for example, would like, who's got huge hands, is this keyboard seems to be bigger to, than, than some I've seen. Was yes. that a design decision? It was, because a lot of uh, Canadians are telling us, I love your product, but sometimes small is too small. And so find that healthy balance of function and design. Mm -hmm. So we realized we had to make the keyboard a little more robust, because when you want to dial the number two, you often hit 23. Exactly, exactly. Great, great little phone. Now you have another one that's also very, very stylish. Yes. So when it comes to style and design all coming together with technology, this is the new chocolate phone from LG. And what's exciting about this is that, um, you know, we've this is a true multimedia powerhouse. It plays videos in true cinematic landscape of 21 to 9 ratio. It's got touchscreen capability, gestures and all that. But what's more exciting is the fact that we've introduced a new uh, user interface. It's called S-Class. Okay. And the idea behind it was, um, you know, Canadians are telling me, like, every time I buy a new phone, I have to relearn, train myself on the menu system, on the architecture of the phone. Um, is there a way that you could standardize this? So S-Class does that very thing. All the new phones from LG will have some version of S-Class. The icons will be the same. It will be easier to navigate. It could be all a familiar environment. So you don't have to spend six weeks getting to know your, <laughs> right. your new phone. Well, right. that's interesting because I think it really speaks to something that's happening in the marketplace now that I'm hearing about. And that is that many consumers are saying, look, you know, I don't necessarily need a ton of new features. What I'm looking for is a product that's easy to use, that I can access the, the features that I do want quickly mm -hmm. and, and easily. So again, that sort of blending of functionality, style, and, and new features that that is the aim here? It is, because if you look at the S-Class, a lot of the common features that you want to use can be customized onto the screen. So whether it's your favorite bookmarks and websites or widgets, so all the, the, the weather, the calculator, the tip calculator seems to be very popular to people, my task is to do things, pick up dry cleaning today. It's all on one board so you can easy, easily access it. Do you have baby pictures on there too, Frank? Oh, I do have baby pictures on here, of course. <laughs> so, um, again, it's the picture quality is phenomenal, and it's a great opportunity. There you go. Ah, oh, beautiful, lovely. So the widescreen is there for a purpose, and that's because we want to replicate a cinema experience for people. Now you're t sorry to interrupt, but you're talking about the uh, the ratio there. Explain to me what you what you mean by that, and why I should care. Right. So, uh, when you go to the movie theaters. Um, the, the actual aspect ratio is 21 to 9, not 16 by 9. Oh, okay. 16 by 9 is high definition, but 21 to 9 is really what cinema was designed for. So when it came to this phone, we wanted to replicate that accurately, and that's why it's 4 inches wide. And so if I give you a sample of what the video would look like, let me just get to there. What you'll see is that not only are we taking advantage of the full screen, but it's in exact proportion that was intended for. I see. 
Now, I'm assuming that that's part of the reason uh, for the size of this phone. How do you think, how will con do you think consumers will respond to this slightly larger si size? Because for some time it's been almost smaller is better. Right, smaller has been better and that's been sort of a, a perspective people have had. And I think that's still true. We still have a very thin design here. Mm -hmm. It's a little taller because of that widescreen. And I guess it's really going to come down to how much design or style plays into you know uh, what you're looking for in a product. I see. Well, it's a great looking phone and uh, perfect for carrying uh, baby pictures. Yes, an excellent way to. Thank you so much, Frank. Thank you. Thank you.